Hi there, and welcome to this video on stratified sampling. I'm uh, just going to give you a quick guide to a couple of exam questions, um, try and help you out for the GCC exam. So, um, <clears throat> typical question that gets asked, um, these two, um, particularly the second one often gets answered um, badly. So, quite simply really, a random sample is just when everything in the um, population has exactly the same chance of being selected. So there's a model answer there. So each member of the population has an equal chance of being selected. A stratified sample is when, if you imagine a population being split into key categories, a common one might be males and females, or in a school it might be year groups or something like that. But each key category in the sample is represented in the same proportion um, as the population. So if you have a fifth of your school are year seven, then your sample needs to have a fifth of the sample being year seven. So each category in the sample is represented in the same proportion in the sample as the population. So let's look at a typical question then. So the table shows some information about the members of a golf club. So we've got the age range and the gender um, and the numbers of each category. So the club secretary carries out a survey of the members. He chooses a sample stratified both by age range and by gender. 90 of the 454 members. So first of all, that, that bit there tells us the fraction of the sample that we want. So the fraction that's going to be crucial is this fraction here. Now, not everyone does it this way, it's just the way I tend to do it. Um, so I take the fraction of this sample over the uh, population that we're looking at, because that's crucial for everything that we're going to do. So, work out an estimate of the number of male members in the age range, 31 to 50, he would have to um, sample. So, look at our table. So, we're looking at males and 31 to 50. So, 147 of the 454 um, members are male and 31 to 50. So, we want a sample that is 90 454ths of that number. So we do 90 over 454 times by 147. So that is going to be the amount that we're going to use in our sample. If I put that into a calculator, it actually gives me 29 and a bit more. Okay. Now obviously we then need to round this to a central amount. We're dealing with people, so we need to round it to nearest whole. So in the sample, we need to ask 29 members, or so we need to have 29 members that are male and 31 to 50, so that we get a proportional amount in our 90 sample members. Okay, well I hope that's helped, and uh, see you again.